see. Yes, I need uh, some lights or something else in this room, huh? Well, you know, Alice, good and evil. Let's just put a knife down here on the ground. Yeah, we're just gonna leave that there. You can just actually, like, place a knife on the floor. That's fine. Not spooky at all. Hi there. I'm Dr. Kendo of the Dr. Kendo Commentaries YouTube channel. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's either, I don't know that guy, or, oh, the one who runs that dead Scribble Knots Unlimited YouTube channel. Either way, you're correct. And also a jerk face. <laughs> but seriously, with time so tough in our economy, I'm also Dr. Kendo, residential and commercial real estate expert. I'm also running for president in the year 2024 of the United States and the world. Can we get that hashtag up here? Yes, hashtag kendo 4 prez 2024 by the way. Now, in the realm of buying houses, you've come to the right man. I've painted over the sides of my hair so that they'd seem less gray. Then I painted gray over that. It's best that your real estate expert looks distinguished and experienced. Secondarily, I'll put my cute one-year-old baby in this video just because he's actually the cutest thing that can ever be seen. Ever. And lastly, I'll have you know, I studied all of the correct real estate terms, and I'll prove it by using them in a sentence. Depreciation. So thank you very much for your attention, and come buy a house from- Dr. Kendo, you, you haven't said anything about selling houses. You just talked about selling yourself. How do they know that you're the best one to buy houses from? What are you doing? Get back on the camera! <sighs> All right, today we are going to work. I am gonna be flipping a house. Look at how beautiful this is. It is so great. No, I'm just kidding, this sucks. This is my terrible office. I mean, I I can't drop a deuce in here. Look at this bathroom. Oh my God. Okay, so anyway, this is the office that I work out of, not the houses. I wanted to get a house for us to make all Bendy and the Ink Machine-ified, but we apparently have to get some money. I mean, it's like, God, who would have known flipping a house and selling it would take some money? Anyway, we're gonna read our email and see what kind of people we can get some cash out of and extort some jobs. This is from Matt Marlowe. Definitely a real person. Hello, my beautiful wife is pregnant with our first child. This person sounds kind of like me. Not voice-wise as I was just doing. We have also just bought a new three-bedroom home, which requires some repairs and decorating. We have no spare time to clean and renovate the house, so we need your help. Okay. So they have no time to clean and renovate the house, but they have a baby on the way. Well, let me tell you, you guys are in for a big surprise, man. If you think you have no time now, I have a kid for anybody out there in YouTube land that does not know you guys in Kendopolis. Hopefully I'll know I do have a, a kid and, and every, all that baby kindo. So let's see what the... Okay, bad start. So this is their house. Wait, what are these people doing? I mean, look at this house. This is terrible. How are you gonna take care of a kid if you can't even take care of this house? Look at this! This is not just cleaning and renovating, this is like, demolish the house and then, oh my god, what is your problem? This is too much. I don't, I don't even think that my expert house flipping skills are gonna be good enough. Back to the office, we're gonna, screw you guys. Heathens! All right, so we're going, we're back to my terrible office. Uh, so is it even worth it to clean my office? This is just where I work out of. I'm not even gonna be here anyway. So let's get a new job. Oh my God. Thomas Johansson. Good afternoon. I need some alterations made to my two room house. See, look at this. Everybody in this game has terrible grass except for the people across the street. This is a room? Who would live here? Who would live in this room? I mean, is this a room for hamsters? All right. What could actually live in that space that is human? <coughs> uh, I'm just allergic to idiot ideas. That's what the problem is here. God, you fools. Good luck having a kid in here with that bed and all that stuff. I don't know. At least this house was an improvement on the hapless baby havers. All right, so we got $3,700. So I'm pretty sure we're going to need one more job before we can actually do our uh, our bendy house. So let's see what they got. All right, this is from Nick Flo. Good morning. I hope you can help me. I'm retired and not in the best of health. I currently own an apartment that I've been renting to students. This year, unfortunately, I rented to a bad bunch of students, which turned out not to be the best Decision. They didn't pay on time, so I went to check things out. And they were laying on the kitchen floor, drinking. Don't drink and own a house, kids. When I spoke to them, they rudely told me to go away. <laughs> okay, so this guy got them evicted. Some of the furniture and radiators are missing. So we gotta get this house in working order. Alright, so I don't know what I'm gonna see, but we'll accept the job. Oh, Jesus. 
I saw cockroaches in that picture. Cockroaches are my worst fear in the world, you guys. I, I hate cockroaches. Just looking at the mini-map, I can see that this is gonna be terrible, man. We're gonna have to work fast and quickly and get rid of all this trash. I mean, look at this! So, this guy wasn't just renting to students. I think he was renting to, like, gorillas or something. I, 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 this house is a mess, man. So, I'm gonna clean all these windows. We're just gonna pick up all the trash. And, uh, he, he, yeah, he wants us to repaint the walls. So, we're just gonna do all this stuff. Gonna get a ton of money. And then, we're gonna do this bendy house. I know some of you guys are probably just looking forward to being like, Where's the bendy house? That's why I clicked on this video so skip ahead I'll put the time in the Cockroaches. okay the game says if you are a person with catzeritophobia is that a word catzeritophobia catzerita okay let's see we, we we gotta look this up all right Google catzeritophobia uh, 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 those pictures uh, uh, bleh, bleh. all right this says it is a fact that cockroaches will outlive humans as they can withstand 2,000 times the radiation levels than us and can also go for days without food gotta hate cockroaches 12 pictures that will give you cats no I don't want to let's see how do you pronounce this how to pronounce dot com catzeritophobia Hmm. Is that how they're saying it? Catsaridophobia? Alright, well I don't care how it's pronounced anymore. Let's just, uh, let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just, these cockroaches got me stuttering. Let's just try to get through this part of the game. Oh my god, if I see cockroaches, I am going to scream. <laughs> Why in the heck? What did these idiots do? Did you pull out the vacuum? Does this work? You can pull out a vacuum and vacuum roaches? Oh my god! What the heck is that? Get those out of here! I hate roaches so much. God. Get the, the, the vacuum. Vacuum! That was huge! Get it out of here! God, I hate cockroaches! I hate roaches so much. Oh god. I hate this. God, roaches suck, man. Why are cockroaches even around? People are like, yeah, well, they're scavengers, you know, they they, they scavenge. Shut up, dude! Did we have enough scavengers in this world? God, there's more of them! Duh, bah, bah, bah. I would never get this close to cockroaches. This game is almost triggering my fear. I think the game is right, dude. I have catzeritophobia or whatever. I did. Yeah, I'm glad you could substitute it for glass, but I decided to be brave. And God, what a stupid move that was. Anyway, when I see a cockroach in real life, it becomes like that Family Guy clip. Did anybody watch those early Family Guy seasons where the guys come in, like the pest control come in to kill the fleas, and they're like military, you know, they're blasting them with real guns and like throwing grenades and stuff like that. Like, you know, that's what it becomes. Like, I, I, it becomes an all-out war. Me versus the cockroach. Okay, we're done with that job. You couldn't pay me enough for that. Jesus, $5,091. So let's finally, let's, let's, let's do the bendy house. Oh my god. So we need to find one of these houses that we can afford. We got $44,000. Oh my god, actually, I did not realize that I had that much. That could not get you a house where I live, though, by the way. In, uh, in Texas. In most parts of Texas. Alright, this house looks great. Look at that. Cobwebs in the sink and in the bathroom. I'm just gonna go out on like cleaning some of this house I don't know what it's worth to, to, to clean this up I mean this is gonna be a bendy in the ink machine house we don't need it to all be clean we need it to kind of look like you know scary or whatever the, 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 the dirt could do that god there's cockroaches here too oh my god the potential buyers all these stuck up people are talking what crap yeah well why don't you come clean it up man they did they, they clean up all these cockroaches Jesus haha -ha, I could sledgehammer them <laughs> oh boy what's a big mess oh yeah, no kidding, man. Alright, so after all this work, Jesus, monkeys, let's, uh, we should put, uh, you know, I, I think there should be Bendy, I think there should be little, like, pictures of Bendy, like, all over the place, you know, it's kind of like in Bendy and the Ink Machine, how you can see Bendy cardboard cutouts and whatnot all over, so let's do that here, it's gonna be, I mean, that's the closest we could get is, like, this Bendy picture, so, uh, should we put it up or down? I mean, every time you're gonna take a poop, then you could look at Bendy right here on the wall. Yeah, the person on the, on the on the side, one of the buyers, is like, not a bad picture. Yeah, that's right. Hail Bindi when you take a crap. Okay, God, not a lot of room for that toilet to uh, look at our leader, Bendy. Bendy holds close your crap's way out of your poop shoot. There, there should be, <laughs> I don't know if anybody knows what I'm referencing, like on Twitter, you know, of course, uh, the Meatly, he would do the letter by letter, you know, it said, Bendy holds close your way out. As we make these walls wooden here, I was thinking it'd be funny, just, uh, uh, there, 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 there. I can't even speak. There should be uh, uh, some, a series of tweets from the Meatly that say, like, Bendy watches you pee. No? 
I'm just, I'm an idiot. Okay. So finally, uh, we're almost done here putting the wood up on those walls. It's gonna look kind of like the studio, you know what I mean? Uh, so let's see. This, this is the only room in the house that's like a bedroom, I guess, because it has like a living room, a kitchen, a bathroom, and then this room. God, this is a piece of poop house, but whatever. <laughs> it's our first house in the game. If you guys like this series, by the way, of course, I appreciate if you can subscribe, but also tell me if you want to see other themed houses. You know, are we gonna do a FNAF house or something like that? This looks like good paint on the wall because I have an idea for this room, by the way. We're gonna do bloody red and make like an Alice Angel room. But this room is gonna be evil Alice and like Allison, you know, so like good and evil, basically. So we're gonna have bloody red. This is probably gonna look really dumb, the, the, the paint on the walls. I don't know, maybe it'll all come together, but I'm gonna do like this bloody red color and then we'll do like happy normal red of some kind. Let's find a good, oh, okay, laughing strawberry. I like laughing strawberry. Here, select that paint, laughing strawberry. I mean, it's Allison Angel. Okay, we'll put down several cans of that paint. Uh, kind of blend it into this. Does that look dumb? If we like blend it into the bloody red. All right, let's put up some Alice and Angel and Alice Angel, all this stuff. Let's put up some of these pictures here. There's an Alice Angel like poster cutout thing right here. We can put that down in the middle of it all. So in the middle, it's gonna be that and then we're gonna have like evil and then we're gonna have good and there we go. All right, so we got this Alice and Angel. Let's make the size. Uh, I don't know what size it should be. It should be pretty big on this wall here. Um, yeah, okay, so we're gonna place that down and let's get another. Let's, uh, Alice Angel, the version that is evil. Okay, um, so what else? I, we have a lot of wall space, especially to the good side. So here, look at this. We got a uh, Allison and Tom. Epic picture, epic. Oh my God, that freaked me out actually. I was like, which image am I gonna select? And then this was right in my face. So let's do the evil Alice right there. There we go. Allison, Alice themed room. Jesus, there's definitely not enough light in here. I'm actually, we're gonna leave the windows all nasty and some of the floor dirty. This will be. A truly horrifying bendy house. So yes, I need uh, some lights or something else in this room, huh? Well, you know, Alice, good and evil. Let's, let's just put a knife down here on the ground. Yeah, we're just gonna leave that there. You can just actually like place a knife on the floor. That's fine. Not spooky at all. Okay, uh, so we put up another ceiling light and uh, there's the room in the darkness. We're gonna review that later when the whole house is done. Let's kind of finish this up here with the designs. Uh, we got the Joey Drew Studios picture here. So let's put that down on the right when you walk through the front door. That's gonna be one of the first things you see. Joey Drew Studios. Okay, what else do we got? What else do we got here? Um, I think that no house that's Bendy and the Ink Machine related would be complete without an epic bendy clock. So let's put the clock down there. It actually almost looks like it's not a picture and it's coming out of the wall. That's uh, that's awesome. I like that. Definitely there's issues with the lighting in this house. This, 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 this. I mean, what? You don't want to live in the darkness? So again, we'll review all of this. I'm, I'm trying to hurry it up here for you guys to see the entire house. All right, so the kitchen should be like butcher gang themed I think uh, so you know butcher gang could be butchering up some meats for us to to eat in the kitchen and all that goodness so we definitely need different walls for sure this house has really crappy walls here let's put one of these things in here this kitchen needs something else a thermo hydrometer hydrometer is that an actual thing <laughs> Jesus I gotta look up everything on Google must have got an idiot okay thermo hydrometer Hydrometer. What the heck is this? Thermohydrometers are useful for measurements of humidity. Uh, they have sensors which measure humidity of the air. Oh, okay. So it's just for that? All right, here. How to pronounce it? Hygrometer. 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 Okay, so clearly I am just an idiot. All right, so let's put that down there. And uh, why not a knife stand? You know, it's the butcher gang. They gotta have some knives. Only need knives. There we go. And a nice little microwave. All of that. So let's put up that butcher gang poster. Okay, that was way too small. There we go. Butcher gang. Okay, there we go. We got a much bigger poster this time. So yes. Looking good, everybody. The butcher gang is all here. Bendy and the butcher gang. Yes, yes. Terrible, terrible kitchen. But I don't care. And the buyers won't either. They will take what I give them. I Jesus. Somebody needs to mow this grass. I seriously, I was, I was playing around with every tool off recording, trying to figure out, you know, how do I get rid of that grass? By get rid of, I mean just mow it.
point. And apparently they're gonna make DLC in this game, House Flipper, and uh, the DLC, I guess you can, you can like mow the grass or do something with the lawn. Not a lot of room there with that epic gaming setup. That is a huge monitor though. God, I wish I had that monitor. I, I, I don't even clean the windows, but Kendo will not spare a dime on the 4K monitor. So yep, there's that creepy knife that we got on the ground right here, and uh, little Sally can fall asleep in that Alice Angel room. Possibly one of the best rooms in the house, just has a knife at the foot of the poster. There was the living room, and then we're in the kitchen. It takes you right in here to the butcher gang. And one of the best rooms in any house is, of course, a bathroom where B-E-N-D-Y watches you pee. So yes, you could be peeing, you could be pooping, Bendy's gonna be there to hold your hand through that process. And uh, yeah, that's not weird at all. Okay, so yes, you know, I thought that the, uh, the, the, the we could put up some more of these posters, but you know, Bendy and the Ink Machine, they have these posters that uh, it's like the wolf who cried. So there we go. That's gonna be up above the uh, computer down here. Couldn't even put a TV in this place because there's not enough room up in this house. And so yeah, we got a nice little lamp and uh, boy, this is, uh, and if I lived here, I would probably shoot myself. But that, 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 that just do that. I don't know. That's true to try to. Was it a. Let's try to. I mean, it was an abandoned house before. Now it's got bendy stuff. I mean, look at that grass. Look at those people across the street. Jesus. I'm never going to get over this. See, look at these people's houses. I'm, I'm like cre creepily jumping over the fence like, what, what, what kind of house do they have? So yes, come one, come all. Come buy a Bendy and the Ink Machine house. It's got a lot of Bendy and the Ink Machine posters. That's about the only thing good about it. You can curse your own neighbors out for having a better lawn than you do. But once you be stepping into this house, of course, boy, you'll be saying, can I get an amen? Because yes, we bought this house for $31,446. Honestly, I think we overpaid. The house has four rooms, but really only one that you can like inhabit. I've been working on the house for two hours, one minute, and 57 seconds. That's about two hours, one minute, and 56 seconds over what we should have worked on it. So now we're in the auction. Can we get a 52? We got a 52. 53. 55. 55. 55. 4,000. 56. 56. Get a Bendy and the Ink Machine. Got a knife in that room. Got a knife in that room. Hey, who wants to pay for a knife in that room? 58,000. 58,000. Going once. Going twice. Sold to the purple haired Veronica Lipston. $58,000. And boy. You're gonna be getting ripped off in this house, but I do not care. She says, perfect. One and only one bedroom. Honestly, Veronica Lipston looks like she could play Alice Angel, the evil one. <laughs> so back to my crap heap of an office. Jesus. All right, so buyers, they will buy whatever we give them. So yes, leave a comment down below, ladies and gentlemen. How did you like this? Do you want to see another house flipping adventure? What kind of thing do you want to see? An Undertale house? A Five Nights at Freddy's house? Some other thing? Or if this was a complete failure and you only watch my uh, other content on this channel, then you won't even see this. On that note, I love all of you. Seriously. Check out the end screen somewhere over there. I think it's going to be over there. And enjoy your day here in Kandopolis where we all stand as one. And thanks for viewing.